Yo, Dom, over here. Hey, hey Dom, hey. Uh, Yo, Dom. Chris, how are you, buddy? So, Good. Chris, hey, Brian. Hey, Thanks, take it. I thought you were yeah. just going to bring him on at the end. <laughs> I was in the car yesterday taking the kids home from school. <laughs> and I just started singing them to them. And they were basically couldn't. He goes, um, but fill your eyes. Let's say this for your thing. Do you uh? Do you just do you just do you just drive to the school and picks them up every day? Just a different <laughs> batch. <laughs> no, no. His father, father picks them up most of the time. Oh, okay. He, he was there. He, good guy. I don't want to talk about it. All right. All right. Let's go. Okay. Let's get to Chris Kosher in the real. Who hey, he is? Chris. Yes. Yes. Hello, <laughs> Chris. Welcome back. Thank you for coming on again. Hey, thank you. It's always fun. I uh. Oh. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's always it's always really fun to do this. The um, I had so much fun uh, at uh, at Soul Jules. That was that was a nice was night. Such a, Great yeah, night. That, was, that was really fun. D uh, Dom, Dom Dom didn't realize how f he thinks it it was too, very far from Philly. I feel like it's around the corner, dude. What, uh, what's around dude. the corner? No, I, within it's an not hour, around the corner 40, at all. Forty five oh. minutes to an hour from the city. That's that's the city. Once you start I, getting the hills, bro, you're out of Philadelphia, in my opinion. You yeah. Know? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's. It's. I mean, it's definitely the. It's. A, it's the far suburbs, for sure. Yeah, but you, but you would consider it a Philly area club, right? No. No. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> No, I, I say mean, no, and do it. what else? That question was for Chris, our guest. I was curious if Sorry. he considered Soul Joel's a Philly comedy club. You know, I, I mean, it's a Philly, it's Philly adjacent. Mm -hmm. How's oh, that? God. That's that's realtor speak for you're going to be driving a while. But uh, <laughs> are we here? Yeah. Are we here? <laughs> are, we here? A, are we it's close? Almost, no, not close. Look, look at how close the schools are. <laughs> uh, not, that was a, that. that was a great show, everybody. And at the end, too, how everyone got on stage with the mics and it was kind of just like question and answer, storytelling stuff. I like that. That was really fun. Oh, yeah. How about Chris's set? Or Steve's Steve set was unbelievable. Well, Chris wow. is so much better. Yeah, yeah. So much better than you've ever done before. <laughs> or look, in the future, I can't see it happening again. <laughs> it was. Why is my how, why is my um, it's glowing like it's a little prior. Dom, you look you look great, man. And and thank you thank you for having me on a show with a bunch of. Headliners, that was an honor, really. It, it was that was really fun night for me. Believe me, that, we, that was what was that? No, we were shaking in our boots, you know, hoping you had a good one. Everybody was walking around with their fingers crossed and a deck, a duck walk. <laughs> oh, I was, I was, Ele Eleanor, Eleanor was great too, also. Yeah, for a oh, chick, yeah. Cooper, yeah, for a chick, yeah, yeah. I don't know, yeah. no, that the whole show from, from beginning to end was really, it was really fun. I, I don't know if you know this, Dom. I didn't know you were going to introduce me. I thought Steve was going back up. So I went to the uh, the men's room. And uh, I, I was, when you, I came back in the room, just kind of like casual, you know, like, oh, Steve's still standing in the back of the room. Dom's still on stage. I walk in and you're introducing me. And um, did you have to break it to a trot? I had to. Uh, I jogging? Had to jog, I had to jog up. Uh, like that, yeah, with yeah, that, I did it the way like like a pitcher comes out to the mound, like a relief pitcher comes out. Like I look like I'm putting in the effort, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm just worried about making the height of the, the stage by, <laughs> by, by jumping from 25 feet away like a fucking <laughs> missile. <laughs> I love the history of comedy. I love. You love uh, gossip. You love little I, things. No, I don't love. I don't love gossip. <laughs> I love, uh, uh, I I love. Uh, sorry, I'm, uh, I like so, I like gossip. Yeah, you know, I like. I'm you know. I hear it. If I hear it, you know. Um, no, but I was thinking about this because Dom and I've said this to you before. Like you know, when I started out, you were you were like hitting your stride. You know, you were really you were there. Like you know, it was like, peaking. It was peaking. It was 1974. That was it. Was it was after that? I, uh, uh, but. But the, uh, but you know, so you were a guy from. I looked up to you. I was like, oh, this guy's really, really good. I really liked. I mean, I, and I still to this day, I've told you this before. 
and, and yet you still won't lend me money. But I, uh, <laughs> I <laughs> hello, is this is this thing on? Uh, but but I looked up to you. I like what you did. I like you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, so for you, who when you're starting out? Because like when I started out, the comedy club scene was pretty established, right? Mm-hmm. Like there was there were the three four clubs in New York. There were three four Bob clubs in like big. Yeah, yeah. So like, so like when I was when I was working <laughs> at the Comedy Works, I was I was I didn't even get to seat people. I was stood on the stairs halfway up, <laughs> telling people what side to stay to. Uh, but but like you know, it was like Richard Lewis, uh, maybe Carol Leifer, uh Paul Provenza, Paul Rod, you know those guys, right? So yeah, and yeah, you were working across the street. But like, who were the guys that you were? Look like when you started out. What I know, a I know the scene. Like I said, that that that, that established. You go to a comedy club scene. Was that was that in place yet? It was a little older. We had W. C. Fields. Check. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Gandhi. Gandhi was a, a god. A, 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 a type five. <laughs> Why is my face all white? You see this difference? Why is it all white and everybody else is regular? Uh, it might just be because of the re- reflection on the screen. Don. I don't like your tone. I don't like I, your tone. I never did, never will. I also, I use Sorry, I have, I, I'm, I'm the holder of the mute button over here. Just to, you know, Ooh. just want to point that out. You know, I, what I, I mean I could, to I say is flex, flex the mouse. <laughs> Dom, I, I use a bronzer, Dom. I, I use a daily bronzer, and that gives me this color, this glow. Like, like a leper? Like yeah. a leper, yeah. I wonder if there's any lepers left. <laughs> 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 Molokai, right? Cap- Captain Zamian or whatever the priest name was named. <laughs> a sure place is a le- you can take them fucking with, with you, take their arm home. <laughs> okay. just, there's just there's just one left. It just just has bad insurance. You know, like yeah. you can't get seen. Tell okay. me about it, girl. You get out of where do you, these guys know that you shave your legs. <laughs> That's the intimate thing with the comedian. Keep it down. They got some beautiful stems. I got to tell you. <laughs> I, I I never understood why that was a big deal. How men can get judged for that. I, I don't do it. But hey, your, Chris it sounds like a half thing. a fanoic. If you know what Chris, I'm saying. If that's, your, if that's your thing. Now I'll tell you what I do do. I shave. Ooh, my do, do. I, I, sh- <laughs> do I shave do. my I shave my chest and my back. Uh, oh yeah. God, I got it. My wife does it. Italian, oh yeah. 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 Yeah, let me. I can't believe you put her through that. Really? Now, yeah. Steve, yeah. I, I do. I do my legs for for cycling. It was just Cosmetic. something I, I did, and, and also because I I love to dance. And I, well, you you own it. You own the dance floor. When you were out there, John Tavoks oh, of the world, it, get out of it. Coach is no, here. Nobody nobody cuts a rug like me. I yeah, you got it. Yeah. So, uh, but but uh, you imagine know, if you were that good. Yeah. I talk about it, my, but I do. I, sh- I shave the front, but I can't get the back. So that's I get it. My, I'll get that's it. my wife. That's my wife. Dom, if, if you don't mind, if we if we ever would, go on the road, I would love to. <laughs> I was gonna go to a party, but I'd love that's, to. That's a prerequisite. <laughs> and here's the thing: yeah. like I don't yeah. like to be standing, so I'll sit on your knees. And Adam, you- hold on. <laughs> we gotta go with go tonight, babe. <laughs> We're gonna party. <laughs> Now, before I got married, I used to get my back waxed. Did, okay. Yeah, but that so, was with a whore. How? <laughs> whore did how? It. Yeah, you turned over afterwards. You said it, Dom. I didn't. How how painful is that? It's not that. It's not that bad. That's that's all. Do you, do you have ho- tattoos? That's all, that's, that's all Hollywood, Hollywood bullshit. Like yeah, when really. You, when they yeah. rip it off, ah, that's get punch shit. Oh, that you know great. what I? You know what I had done? I had my I had my ears. Because uh, you know what, just like, like wax, yeah. waxed or lasered, waxed. waxed. Because I used to I look like I thought like I all of a sudden I was like my favorite Martian, like I had, I like had two antennas sticking up. I had my my rectum adjusted. That's not a bad idea. Look it up. Look it up. <laughs> what would that? Would that run? Would that run you? What did that run you? Does that as a show? What is that? What is that? Yeah, what, I, I want to follow up on Brian. Yeah, what, yeah. What's that run you? How's the pricing on that? 
Who you <laughs> on the ass, on the ass, Tom. On the the, the ass. ass waxing, Dom. Yeah, <laughs> no, the, the ass, ass waxing. Yeah, the ass waxing. I dropped that bit. Will you leave me alone? And 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 keeping in mind, these are California, LA prices. So mm, for oh, you, yeah. it may it may vary. Uh, you go, girl. You go get them. Dom, uh, so can I get back to my honest to god question? Um, yeah, go ahead. What? Uh, so where? Did you pass where, me that where, revolver. I <laughs> <laughs> can I uh, where where you started in did you start in Philly or did you start in New York? I know no, that good. No, I started in, in, in New York because okay. Philly was uh, it wouldn't stop talking when I went on stage and I as if I needed it. it I, I was bad enough and I got uh, fuck you guys. You know, I started naming uh, corners and shit and shit and stuff. Uh, then I went to New York, bang, yep. like that. I, I I joined the comedy sh- com- comic strip. Mm-hmm. Four year, four four months later, I had a spot. It was great. No, um, that's crazy. That's I'm so kidding. nuts. Well, I didn't know you had to do. You had to go like, hang at the club. Oh, well, yeah. I, I, think I don't even know these fucking yeah. guys. Yeah. yeah. So were you? Were you? I didn't know about that. There, I was so we from we back and forth. I was, I was driving back and forth because I was in a basketball league, Dom and the Domettes, and we used to... <laughs> no, 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 I was curious. No, what like, happened to the... the, the they have a question? Is yeah, the que- I've asked you the question. You've shot me down a hundred times. I will try... I just was. I just wanted to know where you started. I couldn't. Right. Now I, I know, know. I'm gonna. I know where I'm gonna fucking fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's see you say, you <laughs> motherfucker. Where, where, the, where the reps, like... Like New York now, like you can get up six to twelve times a night. No. Was it was it was the was the Philly scene or the New York scene ever like that when you were both developing? Or is that well, New York started getting a bit? Uh, Philly had the same three or four guys: Barney and two other guys. Steve what, Young. What, Steve get, Young. Get, getting Steve Young thing? told me I wasn't ready for Philadelphia. He's going from Philly. No, you're not ready. <laughs> wait, wait, tell me, tell me when I'm ready. I'll come down where, here. Where do you want you to start? Like Delaware, Wilmington, maybe. Uh, like Andy Scarpati you... with the big teeth, big teeth on the. That was appetizing. People are eating these giant oh, yeah. molars. Oh my, oh my god, I forgot about that. Am I logo. right? Yes. What was the name of the place? Uh, that's still that's Comedy Cabaret. It still exists. Oh yeah, the Comedy, comedy Cabaret, Cabaret yeah. was Andy. Comedy Works was Steve Young. Uh, going bananas was Barney Weiss, who was the nicest of the bunch, and then um, now the richest, and now the richest, yeah, which is, and then uh, Clay Heary was Comedy Factory. Well, why do why do bookers need to be mean? Why can't I, they be nice? I have, I have to have no, power over some people. That's all. You know what though? Like think about like now, like I mean, you know, uh, I think like like. Yeah, Barney, Barney Weiss, who was like the nicest of the of the guys, was like, and he it, it, he just he's like the most successful now. Like he's he's like a multi millionaire. He did the uh, dumbest thing I've ever seen. Uh, remember Big Daddy? Remember Big Daddy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're watching a Sixers game, and I was late for my getting my spot and at bananas. I don't know which bananas, going bananas, smiling bananas, but it was one of the bananas. <laughs> and uh, I run in. He goes, "You're late." I go, "He goes, now I got to have you more time." I said, all right. Well, I never, I never did this long set. He goes, you got to do forty-five extra minutes. I go, well, I only got 20, 20 minutes. I said, stretch. <laughs> so, I, so I did. I, I don't know what the fuck I did. Wait, 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 where, where are you from? I'm still from Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seemed like only yesterday. So yeah, it was hard, man. I, I hate it. I was luckily I knew enough people. I didn't have to stand in line. It was my only ounce of dignity. Well, you had good juice. Yeah, some of the boys. They got oh, little, you, oh, the boys they, they greased them. Yeah, they greased me. They were ready for plucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. Stop me if you heard this. <laughs> That's great. So I've been talking to Joe Joe uh, Malone, Joe Rogan Rogan. He's he's trying to get me on 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 pot, pot Mary Jane. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, kill it. Are you you going to do it? I got the edibles, but I haven't opened the box yet. As if if these edibles are going to crawl out and just start straggling me. I'm such a fucking pussy. 
Brian, Brian, yo, Brian will fly out there tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I'll cut. Yeah, your yeah, first yeah, time. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll open it. I'll open them for you. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'll, Maybe I'll you show I'll me. Yeah, t- 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 I'll toss them in your mouth like grapes. I'll get Steve with, I'll get, I'll get Steve with the fan. You know? <laughs> your hair can blow in the wind. Oh, it does. You know? It does. It will. It will. You should. You should. You should, you should try it. I mean, it, you know. I mean, you used to like like drinking wine and stuff like that, right? I mean, it's you know just uh, hey, rip don't, one don't in tell half. Me what I liked and what I didn't like. <laughs> Next what? <question. laughs> what did? Uh, what was his thought? Like, what did he think it would do for you? Joe thought it would help me relax, and I don't know. Yeah, you don't no, he, seem, but you don't seem like a tense guy that that needs to be. Will you shut the fuck up and let me think. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Steve! I was on a roll. I was about to be on a roll. Chris, please, you, were you, your question? What was your I was question? So, so close to that roll. I. <laughs> what is I'm it you're so scared sh- of, Dom? Are you scared? What? Yeah. What? Is- I'm scared. scared. You scared? You scared? I'm scared of the uh... boogeyman. I think he's under my bed. <laughs> I, I don't even bed. It's my, my friend Rufus. I, I worry. Any... I, I'm not. I can't do any of that stuff because I'm worried about the whole being out of control thing. Like there's mm-hmm. that whole thing of like not you know not being in control, right? Like with. So you want to actually have let, have sex with your wife? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Trying to it, picture it, this. To do if, it, if you could put in a good. I think, word I think you had some of the other. All right. <laughs> Consider it gun, done. Done. <laughs> uh, a, a, letter, a letter of recommendation would be <laughs> from the West Catholic football team. Yeah, that's the Christmas. Christmas that's the Christmas card from Domery. Yes. <laughs> Dear uh, Chris's wife, I highly recommend. Is she she's a principal, right? Yes. That yes. must be like a really kind of special, uh, you know, as far as like getting whacked and so. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! Put that down. She's, I, I'm not married to a nun. <laughs> <laughs> Although, although I can't see a ruler without flinching. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, mommy, I'll be good. Not again. I'll go not all the, the way kn- into the bathtub. Okay, not right. the knuckles. <laughs> Big. Brian, what are you drinking? What are you smoking? Oh, uh, this is just a little uh, tobacco. It's like a, a nicotine. It's called a jewel. Just a little, uh, you know. Isn't that hor- horrible that so many people went to jail for that? Uh, you know, for the, imagine for the like, weed and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, it's crazy. What are you, what are you in for? Robbery? Robbery? What are you? M- murder? What about you? A joint. I was at a joint. <laughs> at the forty years. Yeah. How yeah, do you sleep to, at night, you animal? They used to whack people up in Jersey like that, left and right. Like not even that long ago, for not that much. My friend's a, tra- a trooper over there, and he said he really believes that if you get hooked on pot, you'll move to heroin. I go, it doesn't work like that. But imagine if you got a heroin for every time you fucking. I'm, it's, I'm out of here. <laughs> I, so why don't you tell him Mark Mark uh, what's his name story, Mark uh, the guy you hate. Who me or Chris? Chris. Chris. Who do you hate, Chris? Who do I hate? I'm such a nice yeah, guy. Yeah, Chris. I, I thought you didn't have any yeah. enemies. In I this got business. no enemies. Yeah, let's air it out. Let's hear it. Oh. But I don't know who it is yet. Oh, does that look better from up? I feel like I need to keep doing that. Like I no, need I'm, to get I'm myself. Just, uh, I'm, I'm a little stiff. That's why I'm just a little, most I'm stretching. I'm not hard at all. What? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, uh, who is it? You know, Mark. Vito. Uh, oh, I, lo- oh, yeah. I love Mark Vito, but I know you have problems with him. I don't have. I don't have problems. He didn't. Yeah, like you do. Me. You got problems with him. He. <laughs> he and I have very different politics. We have very different political views. Um, you mean he wants yeah. Trump to live? <laughs> I, uh, I, thought, I, I thought we didn't talk about politics on this podcast. Yeah, we don't, really? I don't talk about politics. Tom, let's do that thing. Look, I, I, my mug looks like yours. We could do that thing where I like pretend to hand it to you, and then you can take yours. <laughs> pass it up. Pass it over. Uh, pass it down. Uh, what, who have, Steve, do you have one? Oh, oh no, I'm, yeah. I'm drinking. I'm having. I'm having a couple of drinks. I got Sorry. a show tonight. Don, hey, you, you, Don, now you hand it off to your right, like push it to the right, <laughs> and then watch. I'm telling you, it's going to be hilarious. I think. 
Hand it to the right. Gesture that, Robert, yeah. To Robert Klein. Robert, <laughs> Robert Klein. Oh, 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 no, okay. The other Robert right. Like, the other oh, right. The other right. Okay. You think anybody yeah. still listen? No, I, I think, maybe. I think I think well, once you start doing visual gags on a podcast, uh, <laughs> that could, <laughs> that could be could, the, the, the damn downtime spin. <laughs> if you guys want to give out your booking information, now would probably be a good time. Yeah, hey, I'll be at Slappy Bananas uh, <laughs> tonight. I'm there in about ten minutes. Is that an actual club, Slappies? No, no, yeah. Just, yeah. I mean, that is a funny thing, you know. So what, what, uh, you, you were talking about the top 100 uh, list before. That Was that a process of comedians voting on the top 100 together? Is that how I don't know. I, I, I think it was some comedians, but it's so stupid. I mean, look at, like, that would mean, like, the guys today, like Bill Burr, Bill Burr, Bill Burr, Bill Burr, Bill Burr, Bill Burr, Bill Burr. No, but I mean, Will guys you? like him would be off the, the whole thing, you know, it's yeah. just stupid. Yeah, it's just yeah. yeah. I guess you would have to update it. And everybody, the, Richard Pryor is every you know he, he wins everything. I don't think he's that good. I think he's good, but I, I mean, if you Richard Richard Pryor or Dave Chappelle. Yeah, I mean it's 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 hard to listen to stuff from the seventies too. I mean, I I would pick yeah, Chappelle. It's, it's, it was breakthroughs. You know? Yeah, me too. Chris Rock. Yeah. I'm gonna me. Say him, but <laughs> you. Each yeah, I like me. I like I like early me. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I didn't I would, you know the later stuff i just wasn't really into you know <laughs> um, that that's dumb early me is pretty fun. you gotta gold that. you gotta use Over. that that's your that's your new closer right there that's good like i'm gonna listen to him he has one good set he's, <laughs> he's teaching now one set one good and i gotta tell you that fucking set was perfect was Every good. breath wow. was, was so. I'm telling you, I'm fucking play. Like it'll never, it'll never happen again. <laughs> no, it was, it was this a great the only fucking compliment you ever gave me. I really appreciate this. I mean it. I mean it. I, there's somewhere in my black heart, there's there's lo there's love and compassion for you. That's very nice. That was it. Was solid. It was a so the whole anyway. The whole show was really good. It was really fun. Chris, that was the first time. I ever worked with you and I think I told I didn't I don't think I said this on the podcast when you were on before but I definitely told you the night we did the show with Dom uh I I found out I used to go to Dom shows at Helium every Thanksgiving mm -hmm. it was like a oh Thursday. yeah he bring and, a boy a noisemaker they throw him out <laughs> <laughs> yeah I thought I was at an Eagles tailgate <laughs> no I've never seen you have a bad bad set never who you. Yeah. Oh, me. Yeah, yeah, you. Who am I talking to? Let, let me tell you. Let me tell you about early me. <laughs> <laughs> I like me. Dom, I want to hear about early you, Dom. I know early Dom. Uh, Dom, little... but, but Dom, right now, 11 years in, and am I early me? Am I early me? But there's no telling. Like some guys just spring out, and you just uh, kind of drudge your way with like a camera. <laughs> No, everybody's different. I mean, I know it's so but <laughs> some are good and some are bad. You know, <laughs> some guys and you know, never hit their stride. You know, but uh, <laughs> you can always coach. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, you know what? I, I it's funny, right? Yeah, I I think that's true. I, I I don't know if you ever seen somebody who like is do, like doing their first show or whatever, and you're just like they seem so freaking natural. Mm -hmm. on stage and just so like well they like, learn from just, watching you know i guess i guess that's it right they just get they like comfortable because they see it, everybody else doing it maybe i don't i don't know but right. it's always impressive to me when i see somebody who's like that who's just like so good right out of the gate or or at least maybe the material's not but they're comfortable the um no i like i said i i'm i'm it took because the thing that I couldn't stand in the beginning was being on stage. I I, I, made, mm -hmm. I was so nervous and so like it just terrified me. Like that. You, like I like I like writing, but the the being on stage. Oh my god! It, did did you do any performances bef like before? Were you ever like uh? Did you ever were you a musician or anything? Were you ever no, on stage before? No, like, one of my no. buddies, Gary, he he was a musician before. That he was a comedian, so he was on stage yeah. a thousand times before he's ever done done comedy. So right. he has like like perform like performance too. 
You yeah, know? yeah, he, he's, he's comfortable. He's comfortable walking up there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he looked like he wanted to escape from somewhere. As you're walking up. Maybe if I run <laughs> yeah, down this I, road. I'm, I, I'm telling you, there were times walking up towards the stage where I was like, you know what? I could just turn around and run away, and nobody would know. Oh yeah, like, you I know, said, like I, I could just run away now. I, I saw yeah. that so many times, Chris. That's uh, especially when I was opening for Cher. And it's an it's, a, it's an arena, you know, and it's me and my little glass of wine. <laughs> and what do you say, you know? Hey, how you guys doing tonight? Because you have to learn how to how to hold for a laugh, or because yeah. sound sound is like what seven hundred miles a second or something. And you had to wait till the, <laughs> you can't get boom, boom, boom. It's like boom, boom. Does that make sense to you guys? It's like yeah, you have to wait. You have to look for the, like, for, the, for the laughter to come back to you. I guess and she right? had great crowds. Yeah. She had like, like transvestites with the, and grandmothers and all you know, like you know, because she has so many careers. All the all the girls, you learned, right? <laughs> That's not funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the, you're right. But but that's so that's interesting, like because right that that club rhythm versus like theater rhythm. It's totally well, you know, it look, yeah. I mean, it has, to, it has to wait to hit the back of the room. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a big, it's a long walk. And, and, and when you think about guys, like I think about like your cadence, right? Uh, you know, bam, bam, bam. It's like that Philly, Jersey, New York cadence, right? It's mm -hmm, just yeah. like it's like working a speed bag, right? It's like bam, 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 and you can't do that in a in a in a big venue. You have it. You gotta like kind of fake it. You gotta fake that like yeah. speed bag rhythm. Uh, I lost it one time. Go ahead, finish your thought, brother. No, 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 no. I'm good. That's it. One time I, I was I was in uh, Dayton, Ohio, mm -hmm. and I wasn't a particularly bad or good mood, but I was just got to go up on stage, and this girl screams, "We, we want share." I said, "Well, she'll be out in a little bit," you know, trying to dismiss it. She goes. I start again. She goes, share, share, share. I go, look, you little stupid son of a bitch. She ain't here. <laughs> she's not here. She's not what you think. She's waiting behind the, the, the curtain. She's putting another fucking headpiece on. And you're, you're worried about, so shut the fuck up. You know, <laughs> then I, I start going after her and people hated me so much. They came from Dayton to Cleveland just to boo me. <laughs> <laughs> and That's great. Sherry, Sherry didn't even care. She didn't even come out for it. She, the only time she gave me one, one in trouble was, um, she hated that joke. Um, when you're the girlfriend, never watch pornography. You don't remember when you hear your girlfriend going, "Now that's a cock," <laughs> you know. And that she hated. She said, "That's a cock." I, look, I, I got children out here. I said, "Well, <laughs> hide your ass, hide your, your breast." Jeez. Hey Dom, I gotta, I gotta ask the the million dollar question here. All those years you toured with her, did Dom mm. Herrera ever flirt with Cher? Did he ever? No, did he, no. Did he, ever, did he ever try, or is we were too old for each other? <laughs> <laughs> I never. I mean, that's probably the truest statement about it all. Yeah, that's. I mean, the thing is, I think she's she's really, just, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. She, you, don't need, you don't need to hear anything else. That's it. She's got some fucking serious credits, you know. So it's pretty. Yeah. She, I mean, you know, it's funny how small the world is. Mike Post. Mike Post is a writer, you know, mm -hmm. you know who he is, guys? Mm -mm. Yeah, he's a musician, right? He, he's a or musician. He wrote, he, but he was 16 years old. He was on uh, B. They, they, they say we're young and we don't know what's up. Uh, I got you, know, babe. Right? I got you, I got, babe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was on that 16 years old. He played the 12th no string guitar. So fucking cool. But wow. uh, I don't know where I got stranded, stranded out there, but I'm, I was trying to be funny. <laughs> Rewind that, will you? Anyway, let's get back to Chris. I want to hear more about you because you know Mike Sacconi is always taking your time. He, yeah, he's a, he's an mm. interrupter. He's, he's uh, I tell you, know, he's so funny, man. I, I, those I, I, that was like the best, like doing those shows in Wildwood with the three of us it was really fun. Oh, do the it, thing, the, the Dennis Miller thing. Oh my god! I don't know if I can do it without, like, unless we're yeah. in a hotel room in Vegas. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> we were just we were, we got to talking about about Dennis Miller. How he got, mm -hmm. remember he had that NFL job? Yeah, got, yep. Yeah, what, was what a booth. miscasting. And and how, but like the worst. Saying, like like how like how hard it would have been to turn it down, right? If you like, 
Well, it must have been like he had to know he's a smart person. He had to know this isn't going to work. This is a bad fit. Oh, uh, well, Michael's but, hated him. Yeah, but right, the money, right, I right. guess, right? The money. Yeah, but the money, but like it's an opportunity. Like you know, it's like you're not going to not the, do the, it. The, uh, you know, it's like this massive opportunity. Yeah, to do something that you know is wrong, but you, you're like I would be if, if somebody came to me and said, "I have, I don't I don't know football. I don't know anything about football." If somebody said, Chris, do you want to sit in the booth and, and you know, crack wise? Uh, I'd be like, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Because I don't know what happens if I say no. What do you exactly. know? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 What What are you then turning down? But he, he, it was just like it was so above and beyond what anybody comprehended. And you know, he, I, he, he was always making those analogies, you know. Yeah. Bob yeah. and a bump, 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 bump. You know, I haven't seen like, that kind of a defense since Blom. Right? Just make just up look, things. Yeah, and they would just look at him like, and and it just, how long? And it, how long did that last? I was like, on, I feel like it was a couple seasons. It really? Yeah. Was it? Oh, you know what? Now I feel like I have to. I have to. I'm gonna look yeah, that up. Yeah, I'll, I'll look, look it up. Right up right? You look it up. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But but did people know right off the gate this guy's not a football guy? Like, was it right? I don't <clears> think that. Yeah, they probably knew it right away. I can't imagine him doing those those lines in Pittsburgh, some bar. Uh, you know. <laughs> Rob, okay. Rob. I I wonder if I bet I I don't doubt that he probably did know sports, but. He may not have known the audience. Maybe right? two years. Yeah. Two years. Two years. I, I yeah. have a feeling that that it, that was it. Like he, I, you know, he probably, you know. Who was he on with? Um. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, was it, it was Al Michaels, right? Yeah, probably. How about the, the, with the big guy, John John Madden? Oh, Madden too. That's right. Yeah. He was fucking um, great. He was great at that that stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. Does yeah, does why, he why, does he do stand up anymore, Dennis? Dennis uh, I think he does. I think he does like yeah. Republican stand up. Because I yeah, I listen I listen to um I listen to David Spade's podcast and he he always praises him like says he was his favorite. Yeah, but David doesn't have anybody. He has no enemies. He's just, just such a you know great guy. But he just he's really he's it's just not his to lay into people. He just doesn't do it. Hmm. I, I opened up for Dennis a few times, um, but like he wasn't like like a hangout guy. Like I never saw him other than on stage. Um, yeah. But he was. I mean, I remember him at, at the Comedy Works in Philly. He he, Todd Glass, me and my wife went out for ice cream. Gang bang. After the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, excuse me. I got a little sinus thing. <laughs> Oh, whenever, whenever ice cream <laughs> after the uh, after the show, and, like Dom, you're you a disgrace, Dom. You can, Thank I, you. I, I try. I hear every word. Go ahead, start. <laughs> the um, but no, it was just like it was like the most odd pairing. If you think about like though, you know who like I I don't know that that. I don't know. I don't know. Like it was just so weird. Like uh, you know, go and go, and then going out for ice cream at like midnight in Philly after yeah. uh, after like a Dennis Miller show. Where was uh, he at? Where was he it at was the, a com uh, probably Comedy Works. Yeah, yeah, they got the big names. Yeah, they they did the big names, and then uh, and then yeah, Mike Sicconi has the funniest uh, Dennis story. Um, but now yeah, I mean, like you know, like, the Comedy Works was great for that, like for bringing in some amazing talent. Um, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, um, I got to meet. I got to meet a ton of, uh, of good people. I heard you guys had uh, Jonathan Katz on. What was that two weeks we ago? We did. Uh, yeah, a couple episodes ago. Yeah, Katz. He was great. Uh, he's so Dr. Katz. He's so, he's so good, and I love uh, Dom. I have. Oh, you know what? Talk. I, I bet I can find it. I have. I have a cassette tape. A cassette tape. From Doctor Katz. Really? It was just that's... the audio. He'd probably uh, love to see that. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, hold yeah, on. Yeah, that's um, yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry so, up. <laughs> the uh, uh, I, I'm now I'm now I'm not gonna find. It. I got so much crap in here. The uh, you but got it a was, bunch it of was... cassette tapes. You got, nah. you got a you got a rotary telephone back there too. Yeah, you like you like that. Mm -hmm. The uh, yeah, very nice. 
Here's another guy who's so nice to me, man. Jonathan Witherspoon. Remember Jonathan? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right. His I need that. Need... What's that? His son's His son. a comedian. He's good, too. He's good, yeah. Yeah, you guys yeah. did a show when we were we were out there at the Laugh Factory. He, he oh. hosted a show uh, oh, yeah. that you were on, Dom. I just watched I uh, an you. old. I just watched an old school guy. Fucking so funny, Paul Mooney. Oh shit! Yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ, he's funny. I like Mooney. Yeah. I have. Roseanne, I I seen Roseanne Barr's back. She's doing Rogan Club <laughs> pretty regularly. Yeah, she really got fucked though. I mean, that, taking that uh, it was not. She, no, she but said, but I I looked up her stand up. I, I I know her from the TV show. I didn't know her for her stand up. Her stand up was great back in the day. Oh, well, it was, yeah. yeah, it was right. Yeah. The, the timing of it was incredible. Well, there wasn't many. There wasn't many uh, elite women headliners at that period, right? Uh, yeah, she came up with like Whoopi Goldberg. Joan Rivers was doing it, right? I worked Ellen, with her a maybe? lot. I worked the same with same time or no? What's that? Ellen Ellen DeGeneres or was she before that? Was she right at the uh, same time? Uh, no, she was around at the same time. I think. Yeah, yeah. Who'd you, work, been... who'd you work with a lot, Don? Roseanne. Oh. We used to work in Vegas together, and uh, she would go on right after me. I guess it was one, two, three, and then uh, then we, we had like a, a musical act and all that. Really fun shows. We used to laugh, man. It was like it just fucking. Remember Jim Jim Brogan? Yeah, I know that. Uh, yeah. Name. yeah, I know the like, name Jim Brogan. Oh, yeah. he he was uh, help book the names for uh, you know Johnny Carson show and all this shit. And he got, I got off stage once. He goes. He comes down and he goes, how was he? He goes, well, they're really stupid. And I, did, you know, I go, yeah, yeah. He goes, yeah, you, they'll love you and Harry. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I appeal to the, the really subless, the homeless people. Thank you. That's always that's always a nice compliment. This, is, this crowd's a, it's a, it's I'm gonna a love you. morons. It's morons and their and they're <laughs> dumb friends. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Did, did Whoopi Goldberg start the same time as you, Dom? No, she was before me. She was at the comedy store. I was good already starting good, at the good. improv in New York. What's that? She was a good stand up in the beginning, right? Well, she was more of an actress doing like scenes than she was like a stand up. Roseanne was a stand up, like bang, 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 you know. Right. Punch yeah. Lines, you know. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, Whoopi probably is more in that vein of like a Lily Tomlin, right? Where they like it was like like set pieces almost, yeah. um, you know. But but done in a stand up setting. But um, you know, more of more of creating a character and then. Have you ever done play like plays or TV shows like that kind of? Are you, are you strictly uh, stand up with you? Who me? No, your Sorry. mother. Yeah, you. Oh, the. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I play I played Danny Zuko in Greece in high school. Hey, we all read the trades. Congratulations. <laughs> We're very proud of you. Philly Guido. <laughs> Variety <laughs> says we couldn't send anybody out. <laughs> <laughs> the uh I've done some. I've done some, like you know what I did. I, I've done like uh, industrials, like commercial, like not commercial, but like industrial films, like yeah, yeah, like a truck drive. Like it's the funniest. You, you oh, forget. really? That's kind of funny. Oh, dude, it's like it's like the, you forget that there's that end, of, right? Of act the business, right? yeah. Like yeah, like you think like oh, act you would on TV. It's like now I'm standing in a lot in Marcus Hook in front of an 18 wheeler, pretending like I just got out of it, and now I'm going to talk about health benefits for drivers. Like nice. you know, that was like that's that's a gig, you know. Yeah. Um, but but it's it's fun. It's fun to kind of get into that, you know, like that character, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but man, like you think the rejection and Dom, you know this. I mean, because you. Like the rejection from it's comedy kind of <laughs> is one thing. The the rejection for acting is like you go in and you you read for them and they just stare at you. Oh yeah. And then you leave, and if if you didn't get it, you never hear again. Like there nobody ever calls up and goes, "Good try. That was pretty right. good." We you know it's just like you know nothing. It, yeah, it's like uh, dating in the twenty twenties. It's uh, you know you just 
somebody nobody swipes, them. Uh, swipes. yeah exactly ghost them that's uh, the term yes ghost yes them. yeah that, you get there's a lot of ghosting in uh, and it was yeah that was just hard it was like i you know that that, that i just couldn't yeah mm -hmm. how did how weird. did you guys start working together how did that relationship start i wrote dom a fan letter and he read it. Oh no, that was Carol Burnett. Uh, <laughs> I I get them confused. I don't mean one of them. The, uh, I'm sorry, I was thinking I was Ricky Lawrence. No, that was uh, Tom. How did we start working? I, we just got booked together somewhere. Then we started liking to hang with each other, and next thing yeah, I, don't, much, uh, I don't remember yeah. that happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where the hell was it? Um, well, probably maybe Wildwood was the first one. No, I don't think Wildwood no. was the first time. What oh. was the name? What was the name of the Wildwood Club? Cabbage? Cl Cal what was it? Uh, club Casbah. Casbah. Yeah. And that, and we that was the only club he booked, or what, did he have like a New York? Oh, okay. No, that was it. He 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 owned that. It was his. It was his his dad's. It had been there. They used to do actually like not, it wasn't burlesque. They actually used to do drag shows there. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, gold, uh, gold, gold mine did it do well the uh yeah it was i mean in, in the height you were in there he was using there every night watching mm -hmm. clapping mm -hmm. looking for the guy's pro rick mm -hmm. <laughs> the the comedy the, when it was a <laughs> when it was a comedy club it was yeah it was in its at, at you know at the at that at the right time yeah man it was it was packed, we used to remember right? we packed monday night second yeah. show packed yeah. yeah. Was this like Fourth of July weekend, Dom? No, the whole fucking what? summer. Yeah, but when yeah, you, when, that's awesome. When Dom would come in, and, and I mean, but but almost for anybody, when it was when it was hot, right? And and you know, n no reflection on the club, but at, at, you know, at some point, Wildwood and the whole Jersey Shore just you know, kind of remember the, the hurricane, out. Chris. Yeah, remember yeah. the hurricane? That, that was yeah, right. That was like, crazy. That was, crazy. That was amazing. Um, we uh, all these reports, police reports. Don't don't uh, don't use the bridges. Don't don't come in town. Don't. I go and I think, oh, we're we gonna watch this fucking. Thing. It was packed, <laughs> and we what? just didn't know what what the fuck. I said, how bad is your life? How bad is your marriage that you would fucking <laughs> so, if, if we go up against a hurricane just to get away from your wife? <laughs> uh, was it was it was it Sandy? Was that the hurricane that it was? No, it was a no. another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It would have been because that would have that. I mean, that was like they cleared the island. I mean, right? Or they, you know, they like they. I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't Sandy. Um, it was just a. It was just a like a big storm came, but it. but it was enough that right they were advising people to you know like stay Bounce. stay home. Yeah, and, yeah right. Yeah. Well, when you guys would do Wildwood, would it be like a Thursday to a a Sunday stretch? Started out yeah. Monday. All the way through, right, Chris? Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, week. yeah, early on, yeah, a week. Wow. Yeah, and we, I got him to, to get it down to four shows, two, two, two. That was more human, you know. That and doing fun. that, doing the hang after, like, what was there to do? Like in Wildwood, what was the big? Oh, so much. The bars, probably, right? Back in the day, that that whole Rio Grande Avenue was popping, right? Oh my God! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> I brought my girlfriend in, who was Sophie at the time. And she came in from Montreal, gets down. We go to the Ben's Hotel. Okay. It was like so fucking cheap and so bad. The, the uh, air conditioner was actually on the bed. And it was just like, blow your hair back. And I, I looked at her. I go, I can't. She can't. She's she got to stay in a regular hotel. She's too hot. And uh, <laughs> things things got better for the comedians, I think. <laughs> it was at the end of the relationship. No, no, yeah. she, it lasted for eight years. Didn't you? Didn't they had you down? You were you were in a nicer hotel, right? I think later. Like, yeah. The, by the way, uh, I'm making it sound crazy. They were all motels. <laughs> you know. Well, you were. Yeah, he was at really the for that. He was at they the were birthday, motels. Chris. You know, those those were unauthorized H's. Uh, yeah, those, <laughs> <laughs> nobody nobody gave them the go ahead to call themselves a hotel. Hey, Tom, when you hotel. would go when you would go back to L.A. and you would tell. When you would tell them you're playing Wildwood, did they know what it was? Not usually, no. No. I think Wildwood's a great town, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> the, the, it's yeah, it, it's it's um you gotta be from Philly to really understand it, I think. Yeah, Jersey, Philly, yeah. It really yeah. is. It, it I mean it's 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 mostly Philly people that go to Wildwood anyway, I guess. That's the Riviera. Yeah. Yeah. I was just turned into a sad <laughs> maudlin Kens- thing. Kensington's Riviera. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Turned into a oh, I can't even think of the playwright's name. The um, uh, 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 Brighton Beach Memoirs. Who wrote that? Fantastic. Um, okay, nobody. <laughs> with the, uh, uh, Neil Simon, right? Neil Simon wrote Brighton Beach Memoirs. No, nobody. No, not sure. No, I, okay. No, well, he wrote well, the. He did the I Club I Couple and the I Couple. Yeah, I think he wrote. Anyway, it don't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. Um, Nothing really matters. So, Don, what were your your hot spots? Were like uh, Philly, obviously, and then then like New York, but then Florida, right? You had like well, I had Boston, which was mm-hmm. great, oh. great. Uh, ex- you know, all the comedians were strong, so it was good good exercise. You know, mm-hmm. um, they really had they were loaded. Luckily, they liked me because they they were fucking brutal to some of the comedians. Yeah. Uh, you couldn't, get, you know, it was like nine drunken Irish comedians. They're all fucking good. Yeah. You know, Leary and, and, uh, <clears throat> what was it? Uh, the, the big guy. Lenny uh, Clark. Lenny Clark. Lenny he was like Clark. A, he was in the, uh, the, the, uh, Dangerfield special. Yeah. Lenny Clark. What do you think it was about those comedians up there that made him so good? Or like why all the guys from Boston were so strong? I, I don't know, just competition amongst themselves, and they kept improving for Boston, but didn't have enough material. But like one night they, they <laughs> I wanted him to work with me. It was the mm-hmm. third show on a Friday night. They're fucking killers. I go out there. I, I see they were pretty already. Wiped. John John goes on. They boo the bald of his big his big head, his big <laughs> bald head. Boo, and he comes up and he just stands there. And they're booing him. And they go, get the fuck off, you little fucking bald-headed motherfucking fuck. And then he, after about five minutes, he goes, precisely. And he just walks off. That was his whole fucking act. Sounds about right for him. Were you were you going up there as working as a headliner? Were you doing, like, Comedy Connection? Or were you doing... Um, no, it was a headliner. Like, yeah, it was a headliner okay. Thing. So but, were you doing, like, the outside route? Because I used to work up... That was, like, my sister city for Philly... I would work up there, and I used to do. I worked Connection, but then there was Nick's right down the street. Well, that's the Nick. one that I started with. It was Nick's. Pro- probably Nick's. Yeah, Nick's was, and Nick's was. I mean, you know, it was a handshake full of money, right? That's how you got paid. Hey, great Either job. that or cocaine. Made. If you wanted coke, they would, they would oh. give you coke instead of uh, money. The the funny. I Those remember going days. backstage. Backstage of the Comedy Connection, there was a green room which first off had signatures from everybody and apparently got painted over by some schmuck who didn't know but there was I'm a sorry. little black black and white I had dom came in on a saturday trying to neaten the place up uh there's a little black and white tv like you know and the, the like the plastic cake was the top was covered with cuts from yeah. guys you know cutting out lines like wow. the whole top of the TV was just scored with like razor marks, um, but no, it was unbelievable. That Boston was such a good team, and I I think one of the things that made Boston so good was that um, guys were really supportive of each other, mm-hmm. right? So when one guy would get a break, like Dennis Leary, get a break, he'd bring along like his buddies with him, right? Or he'd promote his buddy. Um, and they also they also seem to have like a, a connection with San Francisco. I hmm. remember what, what was his name, Dom, the the political comic. Uh, uh, Feldman. Was, no, David she, Feldman, the one that you said. No, he's like real he's snappy a, dresser. Um, old school guy, or like I mean, you know, probably hit his hit his stride like in the nineties. Hmm. Um, oh shoot, Will Will. Um, Oh my God! Not Will Shorts. Um, Will anyway. Short. Yeah. What the hell? Is, do you know who I'm talking about? Anyway, he was a, he was a, he was a San Francisco and a uh, and a Boston guy, and um, 
but you know those guys would go back and forth and they would mm -hmm. you know they would just kind of build themselves up and uh they really they really pushed each other um and there's there's a ton of work around it's like it was kind of like philly in that there was a lot of circuit work um you know you do everybody and everybody tag team so mm -hmm. you like it was every show was considered like a three headliner show because the first guy would go up do 30 minutes bring the next guy out and then take off and go to another show what what, what what philly uh comics come to mind in the 90s that were like strong like really big killers at the time like if you pass through anybody come to mind bobby kelly's strong i don't know yeah, but he... i think he's he's boston right yeah yeah who's a philly who's a philly guy it's funny a lot of a lot of the Philly guys left, you know, yeah. to go like to New York. It was just, it was so damn close mm -hmm. that you almost, you almost had to, I think, move up there. Chris, yeah. did you uh, work, did you work the New York clubs? I did. I worked, a, I worked a few. I worked um, Stand Up New York, uh, Catch a Rising Star. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think I worked Danger Fields twice. Oh my God, that was not the right fit for me. <laughs> Why is that? Just, well, they have uh, prom kids. Yeah, yeah. Like prom kids was, are drunk. Two two thirty in the morning, they go in there and get drunker. It was impossible. It was it was it was a, it was the best place to hang out, mm -hmm. but it was um, but it was like for performing. It was just a it was just an odd uh, an odd, odd venue. Yeah, 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 for me at least. That, but. Um, uh, but catch catch was was very nice to me, um, and uh, I liked I liked doing that room. Uh, I also was very concerned about the proximity of any club to an H and H bagel. That was very important to me. <laughs> <laughs> so as long as I could, as long as I could get in my car, drive to a bagel place before I went back to Jersey, I was happy. Uh, That's good. What's your go to bagel? uh probably at the time i don't you know what like i, I i'm just gonna be, probably get uh shunned from new york but i you know i love the good like a cinnamon raisin on the drive home because mm. uh, you could eat it you know what like you could eat that like it doesn't have to be toasted you can just right. eat it out of hand um but now like and everything i'm doing everything yeah i like, I like the egg everything that's a that's what i always like to go yeah I, I just did uh governors in uh long island yeah long yeah island. And I, you know, every, any any time I do a, a road gig, I look for the places to grab food. Yeah, and, and they're yeah. they're known for their bagels out there. So that's uh -huh. that's all I ate the whole time I was down there. Dynamite. Yeah. I think it was Chris Rock that said that that club he loves he loves doing that club and going uh -huh. going there and working out. Yeah, well, there's, two, there's two there's two governors right there's not one location well, no there was there's the, that location there's a an irish pub that they own and also the brokerage which is in i don't know where the brokerage is somewhere in long island half minutes from the the uh i, I let me see it was oh, it doesn't and that, matter. That, that guy is, james he he's always been the owner is he fucking hilarious or what <laughs> no he hasn't always been the owner whoever they Put him in charge of. He does a great job. He's so fucking matter of fact, you know. Like he's like a mob guy. Mm -hmm. You got the outfit on. It's nice kisses everybody. You know. That's what, that's what I like to do. Run around and kiss people. <laughs> Get my I, fucking hand. That's nice. You never kissed I, me, Don. Nice to meet you too. I I, I, uh, I opened up for you at, at brokerage. I, I remember doing that. Yeah. And I yeah, it was good. And I was, but I like I I would. I didn't, I wouldn't drive. I wouldn't drive on uh, on Long Island because it's like from Philly to Long Island is like sixteen hours. You know, um, it's just it's just insane with the bridges and the traffic. So I would take the train up into New York and then take the Long Island Railroad out. Um, so it was idea. close. So it was like a two block walk over to the club. Um, but it meant I had to. It meant I had to like usually take off like ten minutes into Dom's set. You know, the Late Show. Hmm. What, what are you trying to say by that? I'm saying that it was more important for me to get home than to watch your show. <laughs> that's what I thought. That's what I thought I heard. Yeah, it's a some honesty that how, right there. Is some that honesty how it from came a friend. Out? <laughs> See, Chris, now he knows we got enough stuff so he can be Mr. Cocky Pants. Chris, 
Yeah. Chris, thanks for hanging, man. He, um, Dom was saying before you logged on, he wants to have you and Sigoni on together again. Oh, that, mm. that was so fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the um, Dom, but I, I'm, I'm I was kidding about like the, the late show. I wasn't kidding. I mean, I had to take the train back because they, but uh, I remember Dom saying something and it was like aspirational for me. Yeah, he was like, yeah, I'm to the point where I only need to do one show a night. And I was like, oh, that's the dream, right? Oh, like, yeah, absolutely. that's the dream to eliminate that 1030 show. Like, who mm-hmm. the fuck? Oh, oh, 10, oh, that'll be fun. Oh, now I'll get on stage let's see, at midnight and I'll be getting in my car at one. Oh, man. I, yeah. Like, even if you're going back to a hotel, I just did, I just, I just did a road gig and I, I forgot. Like, I didn't even think. Like, oh, I didn't even eat anything. And I'm driving back to the hotel. I, I ate, like, at a, at a Cumberland Farms. I had a sandwich. <laughs> I, was, I was like, this isn't how I live. I don't live like this. It was I, just- I'm, I'm seeing when you do a weekend, the, the Sunday night shows at a comedy club are always, it, they just drag along. Like, if you're doing a Thursday to a Sunday, mm-hmm. Especially yeah. during like football season. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. If the, when the Dolphins are on, you're dead in Philly. I feel like all I mean, the comics are Miami. watching. Are, they're all watching the game in the green room. No one yeah. ever really wants to be there. You know. Now Sunday shows are always tough. They, they, it's they, there's somebody said it. It's been a, it's been you know attributed to like a million different comics, but they you know I heard it in Steve Martin who said one of the reasons he got out of the business was the Friday Late Show, hmm, right? Yeah. Because that's <laughs> it, that's just it's death. It's yeah. death. Right? Like you get them on, you get them early, like eight, you know, seven thirty, eight o'clock. They're still they're not, a little a bit of energy. Not you know, hammered. Probably, yeah, they probably I'm tired. I guess right. Work, After the week, met yeah. everybody. Yeah, you know, hey, we'll go grab yeah. a bite, then we'll go see a comedy show. They still got a little energy by ten, ten thirty on Friday. They're like everybody. You, you could see in their eyes. They're like. Mm. Oh shit! Why did we tell Marie we join it? <laughs> oh, I didn't want to. Do yeah, it. they were. They worked. They worked all week. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honey, did we? Did we already pay for the ticket? Shit, we gotta go. Uh, you know, like that's the that's this Friday late yeah. show energy. Is shit. We gotta go. <laughs> we already paid for the tickets. Uh, but yeah, no, it's uh, but you know, yeah, yeah. It's and, and then Sunday is the second worst after. What right do you now. guys? What do you guys think of clubs now doing like matinees and nooners? I love it. No, well, <laughs> he loves it. Was that always a thing, or is that more of a recent after COVID? They're trying to find an audience somewhere. It's where they do. That's when they do the drag shows in the clubs well, during the daytime. I've seen that drag shows. Yeah. Or other magic or other shit, you know. I don't think I've seen stand up, stand up at noon. No, it's been oh. happening like Helium, helium's been doing them a year and a half. So yeah. I, I That's how I feel about that. Nah. I, I was be dark. The, the improv down in DC had like they have a, some acts coming in and their acts that I don't like I I don't even know them. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know who they are. But they're these guys are coming in and they're selling out everything and like I'll, they'll have like a three o'clock or a four o'clock Sunday show or a three, you know, like a sold a, out. Just, yeah, sold out just because mm-hmm. they, they had to add another show. And I, yeah, like to me, I remember uh, opening for, you know, you know, Bob Marley. Uh, from, mm-hmm. He's a great you, comedian. Yeah, hilarious comedian. So I worked with him in Portland, Maine. That's his hometown, right? It's like, you know, it's like it's like the Super Bowl, and they're just so. I remember we had five shows on the books. It, then by the time I got to the hotel, it was six shows. By the time I got to the club for the Friday, they were like, "Okay, we got seven shows." They just kept adding shows. We had a show, and there's nothing weirder than doing comedy with like sunlight streaming in through the windows. <laughs> it, just, it just doesn't make sense, you know. Like you're like, what? What is that? Oh, you know, like it just, it doesn't, it doesn't. But hey, man, if the if they're making money, I watched Michael Blackson do a, a he got on stage. There was a midnight in Albany. Mm. He he got on stage at like one fifteen a.m. on a Saturday. That yeah. was crazy. 
Would they? They would they do? They added an extra show for him. They, for like yeah, a they added show. It. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's selling out, right? Yep. That's amazing. That's yeah, amazing. He, he's originally from Philly, Laugh mm-hmm. House yeah. guy. Yeah, he's a guy that he. I've seen him like he's one of the people that like at the improv where they're adding shows. You know, just mm-hmm. and man, God, if, I mean, if that's cool. Wanted, I guess yeah, if they're selling tickets, you know, if they're if they're selling tickets, if the comic is going to go up and give it the same energy. That's great, right? Like, don't you know? Don't don't treat it like, oh shit, I got to do a three o'clock show on a Sunday. You know, mm-hmm. treat the audience like they're second class. But if you're putting on that full show with all the energy, that's awesome. You know, good yeah. for you. Um, but uh, but no, I, you know, I yeah, I I I like I like it for the club. It makes me ha- you know it makes me happy that there's that kind of uh, enthusiasm for it. You got anything coming up, Chris, that you want to plug? Uh, well, I'm going to be uh, selling Jonathan Witherspoon's uh, CD. Uh, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. CD, <laughs> what's that? Yeah, I know. It's you got big. cassettes, CDs. What else you got Dime. back there? Yeah. Dom, <laughs> Dom is, you, you know, Dom Herrera, he's not a really big fan of merch. It was never his thing. Oh, I don't care. I just don't want to do it myself. Dom, tell, like... that st- tell that story where you dumped the... You threw everything up in the air. You didn't want to take math. <laughs> I don't know, some lady asked for, you know, uh, do you have the uh, uh, $1? Can I maybe get a, uh, 50 cents for this? Or some, something crazy. And I went, I'm done. I said, guys, you could take the rest of them. Thank you. I said, no more bada boom, bada bing t shirts, nothing. He didn't, uh, he didn't want to make change. I didn't know. Uh, no. The reason I'm, I'm a comedian is because I'm lazy. I'm I, fucking spending there like a cashier. Counting. I I had a CD that I sold. At, oh, my. I hated every minute of it. I hated every mm-hmm. minute because it's like I, I would be explaining to them. I'd be like, oh, okay. So you heard this bit. I did this bit. But now I do it different now. So when you hear it on here, it's going to be different <laughs> than the way I do it now because I changed some stuff up. And it was actually Jonathan Witherspoon who I was te- I was telling him like he goes why don't you sell merch, and, and mm-hmm. I said Jonathan I just can't I told him that story he goes he goes Chris they don't give a shit they're not listening to it he goes they're not no they buy they're not they're never going to listen to that they just want a PCU they just want they just want a little connection with you and you know it was too late because you know at that point I I sold through everything and I was like I'm never doing that again but like. He was right, you know, but I could never, I never had that confidence to just, pull, you know, like be like, yeah, man, here, take, I, I, I remember people selling crap. Dom, you've probably seen guys like featuring for you selling the, the shittiest CDs, like the poorest, like, like, like I bad I shirts too. I see a lot of bad oh. shirts for jokes that suck. And they, and they, and they, and they, it's and like they that's force, your punchline. Your punchline sucks. Your shirt sucks force, even more. They'll force the bid in Good to job, sell Brian. the shirt, right? They'll sell. They'll, they'll force the bid in to yeah. sell a shirt. Yeah. And He's you know what? These I, after the show, yeah, yeah. You know what I always say? Gucci Camucci. By the way, I have a Gucci Camucci <laughs> T-shirt. I don't know if you guys want one. <laughs> that's like, I'll be what? in the back on the way out, locking the, the door. I'll be in the back. Yeah. Would, Dom, Dom will be making change for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 yeah, I could, yeah, the, the, the merch thing, I get it, man. I get it. But I remember there was somebody, this guy was like, I got to find a Kinko's because I got to print more CDs. And I was like, no, if you're not doing it, you're selling that garbage to, to an audience. Uh, that just, that can't just, be on the show with me. No, it's just not. No, I, I was on the show with him. It was a headliner. It was a headliner. It's like I got to go find a Kinkos to to make who more copies it? of my CD. I, you know what? I can't remember who it was. Good um, save, Chris. Thank Good you. Save. <laughs> what a way to end it. <laughs> yeah. well, Merry Christmas, my friends. Chris Kosha, right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Dom. Mm. Good work, me, pal. It's always it's always wonderful. It's always a pleasure, Dom. Right back at you, Tits. I uh, maybe I'll get maybe I'll get out to LA sometime just to see you. Nah, I'm not gonna yeah, come out and yeah. perform. I'm just gonna come. Mike and I are gonna show up one day. It's a good idea. Mike and I are just gonna sneak out there, and you're gonna we're gonna be knock at the door and you know, what the what do, do the you pop, want? Do the pop in? 
Do the pop. We're just doing a pop in a three thousand mile <laughs> pop in. <laughs> ah, that'd be awesome. See you guys. See you guys. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks again, Steve. Thanks, Brian. See you, Chris. Yo, Dom, over here. Hey, Dom, hey. Yo, Dom.